Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to set up the Metroid, brand new Metroid Fusion randomizer, something that was thought impossible a couple years ago. It has finally reached the release of the Metroid Fusion randomizer. First, you have to go to, um, to a Metroid construction forum. It's this one. I'm gonna the link in the description. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And uh, click. Uh, I don't think there's any update. Yeah. Uh, click the randomizer feature. Will download, but it will also say that it's a virus. I have to be worried about that. It's because of the XA. This zip has. But no worries because the zip, because the XA is not used at all. So we extract the Metroid Fusion randomizer. And this is the problematic Z uh, XA that Windows sets is a virus, but you don't even have to, to open this XA. So it, it's not a problem at all. If you would be worried about it, you just don't open it. So it, it really doesn't matter. So first of all, all you have to do is first um, put a totally legal copy of Metroid Fusion here, named Metroid Fusion U dot uh yeah named this. It has to be like the legal copy has to be uh. From the US, the English version, and you have to put a copy of it in the data folder. Then all you have to do is execute one of these two bats. One of these will random, it will randomize completely the game and the items. And the major minor is it splits the major items and the minor items in different pools. So each thing's are major items. Are randomized within their pool, and f and missile tanks and power bomb tanks randomized within their pool. So personal favorite is full rando, but that's whatever you want to do. You execute the full rando, uh, or the major minor, wh whichever you want to do. It will generate a seed here with, um random words that are, it's basically a hash it has nothing to do with the what the seed contains it's already a copy a playable copy it's not a patch you don't have to patch any rom it will immediately put the seed here and you can just open it with your dbi or your emulator whatever you're using of course i'm not going to give you rom or BIOS for the emulator because it's illegal, but it's pretty easy to find. But yeah, you have the seeds here, and it will also give you a spoiler lock. It will give you it will be a TXT with all the items, a couple of IDs. I will actually show you real quick on my on this one with notes. So the spoiler logs are looks like this. So for example, these are the settings. Okay, various suit is in sector one, zero Z, zero seven. That this ID is you go to the maps, you go to sector one and zero Z Z is this. And seven is this. So the item that's various suit is this. In case you you want to check the spoiler log, of course. So that's really all. You have the ROM, the copy here. Uh, you have the seed generated here. Like I said, this is just a hash. It has nothing to do with the seed. The spoiler the spoiler logs are here. 
the maps are all here in case you want to check where is an item. So for the rest, um, that's how you would set up the randomizer. Now, for example, I could just open this hog in this case, which is the emulator I recommend play the Randall on, BizHawk. I made a video on... Dragonfangs made a video on how to set up BizHawk and I made another one for Spanish people or, or people that speak Spanish in general. So you will see that this ROM is actually randomized. Why would you know that? Because from scratch it will already give you this navigation panel at the beginning and it will tell you what you have to find to finish the randomizer. This is uh, this is a changed text from the randomizer. Find missiles, charge beam, plasma, and release the level 4 locks. It basically tells you what all you need to get to to finish the randomizer. Which is really neat. And in the future there will be hints in the navigation rooms like this, or this, or this. Or where the items are, or I don't know how the hints are gonna be. That's pretty hype. Then well you have all you need, but there are a couple things more you need, you know, before playing the randomizer. It's a this. Uh, there are things you should know. For example, uh, missile having a missile upgrade will show the HUD that you can fire missiles, but in fact you cannot. You can only f uh, fire missiles when you get the main, what we call the main missiles, which is just the first missile upgrade you get in the game, the vanilla game. That's the only way to fire missiles. Even if the HUD tells you that you have the missiles, you cannot shoot them. So for example, if you find super missiles, you cannot fire them until you actually find the normal missile. Uh, I, I forgot about another thing to mention here. I didn't note. Um, nightmare gravity thing only affects ice missiles. If you have normal missiles, supers, or diffusion, the missiles will go normally as if no gravity was affected in that the nightmare. Like I said here. And also, uh, diffusion missiles are not ice missiles. Therefore, they don't freeze on contact. They do still have the freezing effect of the of the diffusion part, but they do not directly freeze on contact. Ice missiles. Uh, like like missiles, power bombs also require the main power bombs, the ones you need to get. To fire power bombs and bombs. Without normal bombs, you cannot fire power bombs, even if you find the main power bombs item. Omega Metroid trigger is SAX. Uh, yeah, since ice is on the pool and it's functional and everything, uh, Omega Metroid trigger is not ice anymore. It's taking the SAX. Once you absorb the SAX, the the Omega Metroid will be vulnerable to any beam, any beam you have, which is most likely going to be at least plasma because you need plasma to trigger SAX in the first place. So you can have no ice missiles, no ice beams, sorry, and still kill uh, Omega Metroid with no problem. Screw attack allows infinite wall jump. So as you know, Metroid Fusion is different from Zero Mission, Super Metroid, M2R, and all these games where you can infinitely wall jump on one single wall. Uh, Fusion does, does not do this. Fusion disallows this. Uh, you cannot normally single wall jump, but Screw Attack, since it changes Samus Pose when you're uh, somersaulting, it enables uh, it actually enables infinite wall jump. So once you get a uh, screw attack without space jump, you can actually infinite single wall jump in one wall, which is pretty special for the randomizer. Uh, missile upgrade value. So yeah, um, of course some missile upgrades add more damage to your missiles than others. For example, um, Missiles deal 10 damage, I'm pretty sure. Then super missiles add 20 to that damage. Then ice missiles add 10. And then 
the fusion only adds five damage to your missiles. So if you find you have missiles and you have diffusion, you will do fifteen damage instead of the uh, all the uh forty five you would do in the vanilla game. You only have diffusion missiles. Uh screw attack is invulnerable to several bosses. Yeah, there since the game doesn't expect you have screw attack in the great majority of the game. Uh all the bosses are basically uh, enabled to hit you when you're a screw attack. For example, you can fly onto Nettery without getting hit. You can uh, fly onto Ridley. Ridley. Onto Ridley. Not Ridley Stale. I think Ridley Stale is actually can hit you in screw attack. Like, ni even Nightmare cannot hit you if you're in screw attack. So that's a very good thing to know if you want to trivialize some boss fights in this randomizer. Will make them fast or whatever you want to do and of course there are a few soft locks um i highly recommend saving a lot throughout the randomizer because there are a couple of soft locks few soft locks that are really you should know so you don't do them or at least save a lot so in case you you actually get soft lock you can reset without losing much progress so first is Sector 3 data room. Don't enter that data room without green doors. Uh, you can get there before um, getting the green doors. And box will appear. That will that makes the door open automatically after you, you kill um, box. But then you won't be able to get out because you don't have green doors. So do not enter that room without green doors open. Uh, you shouldn't go deep into sector 2 without high jump, space jump, or screw attack because uh, high jump and space jump allows you to climb back up and allows you to spring ball through a few tunnels. If you don't have them, you not only you cannot uh, get out of sector 2, you cannot even get out of Zazavi if you enter. So be careful with that. Sector th entering Sector 5 from Sector 3, which will be on a destroyed state if you enter from Sector 3, from the shortcut. Uh, you shouldn't go to the left without speed booster or your doors open because you will not be able to get out. Because it will reconstruct once you, you go to the left. Unless you have gravity suit, then it will be destroyed all the time. Five. That's, that's the trigger for Sector 5 destruction. Uh, yeah, then do not enter the Nightmare area, the underwater section of Sector 5, uh, without gravity and speed or screw attack. Because, uh, you cannot get out of that section without gravity, because you need the speed blocks to get, uh, to Sector f to down Sector 4, or you need also speed, uh, screw attack to, to get out from the screw blocks at the beginning of the section. So yeah, don't, don't enter that. Nightmare without gravity. You cannot get out of Nightmare without gravity at all. It, there's a barrier that is a speed booster blocks, and there's water in the middle, so it will stop your momentum, but you will not get. You will be trapped. Service without speed or gravity. If you enter service, or at least the water, not even service, the idle part of the room before service, without speed or gravity, you will not only uh, you will not be able to get out unless you have speed to get out from the le from the left or gravity to get able to get out from the right by wall jumping, vice versa, whatever. Um, there's theoretically a trick you can do to get out of Ceres without these things, but it is very, very, very hard and very stupid. And it's not even possible if you have space jump, so. Yeah, it's basic glass of luck. Uh, Yakuza without space jump. Yeah, you cannot get out of the room of Yakuza without space jump. That's pretty self-explanatory. You do not enter boss fights without missiles, because if almost all the bosses need to be killed, need, you need to kill the corrects to or so you will not be able to damage the corrects without missiles, as you know. 
So yeah, you will be self locked if you enter a missile, a place that you shouldn't be without missiles. Ridley area with a space jump and wave. First, you need screw attack to enter Ridley area. And then you need wave to exit and open the gate. And a space jump to get out from when from where you entered. It's, it's a huge vertical hallway that you only have to do if you have space jump. You shouldn't enter really area without space jump at all or wave, that is. And don't enter um se deep sector five, sector six. You know this room before the SAX encounter. Do not break. Do not fall from the bomb chain without uh, charge beam because not power bombs because well theoretically you can clip so power bombs are not nece strictly necessary but uh yeah you cannot you cannot um you cannot hurt the mega core boss without charge there will be soft lock forever there unless you have a way out which is pretty pretty hard to get so yeah th that's all the soft locks i know of there might be a couple um that i'm missing so yeah remember to save every now and then just in case you soft lock you can just reset and that's about it so this has been how to set up the fusion randomizer the setup is pretty easy like i said you have to be careful with the soft locks and how the game handles some things. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention, ice. The freezing effect of ice beam is different. Is different from the freezing effect of missile ice missiles. Ice missiles allows you to refresh, refreeze the enemy with when you hit it with a missile. If you freeze an enemy with ice beam and keep shooting with ice beam, it will not refresh the freezing effect. In fact, it will and freeze in your face if you keep shooting at it with ice. So that's all. I hope this was useful to you. You know, you if you know this was useful to you, leave a like or whatever and share it to the people that want to play Fusion Rando. And that's it. I recommend joining the um, speedrunning Fusion Discord. I will leave a link in the description and have fun.